write the same uh, Cyrillic uh, words, but in Latin. Uh, no, <laughs> some no, 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 For example, in Serbian, lo lot of Latin uh, words of Latin origin are used in sort of legislative language, like system, for example. It's in Serbian, it's system, right? In it's Croatia international. Mm -hmm. But in Croatian, it's sustav. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? So that's one example. Uh -huh. So, for example, when, when you are uh, used to Serbian and, and you see system, um, budget, etc., etc., and then after reading a document in, in Croatian several times, you understand these, right. you know, the difference in terms in vocabulary. Uh -huh. There are also some, some differences in um, syntax, uh -huh. but not. not as great, for example, in some examples, as, as uh, Mark said, between British and American English. They're, they're, With the simple past and the present perfect, yes. for example. Yes. And in yeah. American English, the simple past is often the present perfect is hardly used yes. with yes. some people in American yeah. English. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Subjunctive, for example, things uh -huh. in, in American English, etc., etc. There are things like that in, but nothing that can obstruct uh, understanding in seriously mm -hmm. yeah. really mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> so with a bit of you know training and a bit of you know concentration and you you can learn if you're a serb you can learn creation like that right if you if you know if you're a linguist right mm -hmm. so that's čak i u razgovoru recimo dvoje ljudi iz Srbije i iz Hrvatske čak i ako se Desi da ne razumiju jedno drugo u nekoj riječi ili nekoj rečenici, ovaj drugi će ga pojasnit ćemo čemu zradi i ćemo i on će uspjeti da razumije. Yes, even in, in everyday conversation, it's very difficult to, you know, Ali, to understand it. Ali, suština ovo što gospodje kaže, ne samo neke riječi ili mnošto riječi su različite, nego i, i sintaksa. Vi ćete reći u Srbiji, a, a, institucija je obavezna da dostavi izveštaj tom i tom, a u Hrvatskoj ćete reći, dužna je dostavi ti. Yes, uh, the, the, the infinitives are... Used, for example, in in creation. Tako znamo da kad je bio sami imate za sve da 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 ovo uradi da ono uradi a u Srbiji Hrvatskoj sve to bez da samo na kraju infi dakle dostaviti učiniti i ne znam. Idem da spavam. Idem spavati. Idem spavati iz Kroatije. Lana, would anybody in Croatia say idem da spavam, or would everyone say idem spavati in Croatia? It is poverty. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. my friends would say it is poverty. Yeah. Maybe older generations who are more... Because in Yugoslavia, my grandma would probably mix certain things. She would yes, use she words of Serbian origin. She heard, to the she media. heard on TV, Tashna. It's not a Croatian word, but she liked it. And she was using it. <laughs> Although she's Croatian from Dalmatia. You know, things like that. Mm. But... but uh, Newer generations. Yeah. Mm. Could, could newer, I ask Marta? Younger yeah. ones, because could, we, they didn't. At the, there was during the war period, and afterwards you couldn't really hear. There were no Serbian programs on Croatian television. Whereas now, you can see films, no problem. People listen to Serbian music, especially folk music, the young ones. Mm. So it's quite could I, could Vladica, yes. could you, could you ask Marta? You know, are, are Serbian and Croatian basically the same language? Do you understand? Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think no. Maybe similar. So what are the basic di what were the basic differences between Serbian and Croatian? He's not a linguist. He's not an expert in that. So what was Srpsko Hrvatski or Hrvatsko Srpski? What was that? Yeah, that was a term used in the times past. Mm -hmm. It was an attempt, an attempt to unify and to make one language which failed. Well, it failed. Yes, it failed. I mean. Well, my interpretation is, if you have one language used by a lot of people, there have to be differences, and it has to diversify. Look what happened to English, right? But there, there are also, for example, today, what I noticed 
because I've got uh, my ear tuned to, to Serbian and Croatian and everything. For example, uh, the influence of Croatian through the media uh, to the language that Serbian youth now speaks. For example, uh, when we want to make a comparative, uh, like um, something is nice, lepo je, we say something is lepše, mm -hmm. or it is very nice, or something, jako je lepo, now we say prelepo je, pre dobro, mm -hmm. pre, 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 this is Croatian. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, nobody use that. I don't know whether it's in Serbia. Here in Vojvodina, everything is pre, like in, in Croatia. And I, my, my son, uh, who was born, you know, in, in smaller Yugoslavia, uh, no, 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 he was born in, in big Yugoslavia, but he started speaking in, in, uh, in, in smaller Yugoslavia. He said, how do you know so many Croatian words? Now he doesn't ask me anything because he watches television like I did. Yeah. It's the media it. that sort of unites elements of the language. So the question whether it is one language or two languages is not important at all. It's, it's the validity of that question, why? Mm -hmm. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Who cares whether it is one or two languages? I mean, it can be two languages, if you like, for reasons to be precise as, as documents are concerned and things are concerned. If you, if you use these terms, fine. But, I mean, yeah. why? What, uh, which la what language do you use in Banja Luka? What's the official name? Uh, excuse me, before I, I answer that, I just wanted to say to... to uh, my daughter-in-law is Croatian. She's actually a teacher, a Croatian teacher. And she teaches in Sin, in Dalmatia. And after she returned back to, to Croatia to sing after a year of maternity leave, she found out that the language has changed so much. The Croatian language, of, of which she is a teacher, an official teacher, and she studied it at the university, has changed over the year, has changed so much you know, in some segments that she needs to learn it again. You know. And it, it goes on and on and on. I think, and I studied in, in Zagreb, I studied English uh, in ex-Yugoslavia in Zagreb at ja Zagreb University, and I had to have Croatian. At that time, it was the, the differences were just slight. And I had a friend from Zagreb who taught me in order to pass the exam, you know, the entrance exam. I had so overnight almost I was able to pass it with B, mm -hmm. you know. And now nowadays when we as a language school in Banja Luka, get to translate documents in Bosnian, Serbian, and Croatian, we really need to find, to get proper educated people who can do it. Because we get, I mean, we didn't, but the translation get back, they are not valid. Then they cannot be accepted as valid, okay? So we need to, have, there are now more and more, for example, Bosnian has a lot of Turkish influence nowadays. Well, uh, Serbian is more of a Serbian from Serbia with Ijeka, Ijekavica mm -hmm. accent, and Croatian is Croatian. It's now, I would say, can't be so, so free to judge, but 30%. If it was more, maybe less than 5%, it's over 30%, 40%, a different language. If we are talking about profession, I mean, uh, the real, um, what shall I say, prof professional, real Croatian or real Ser or, or Bosnian, the, the differences are uh, bigger and bigger. And, and, and Dragica, when people ask you, what language do you speak? We speak what, Serbian. what do you say? We speak Serbian in, speak. in uh, Banja Luka now. Mm. Right. It's not the official as, language. As the official language. It's the official language. So there and is no such the thing as alphabet alphabet is, The official alphabet is uh, Cyrillic. Mm -hmm. But of course, all the documents can be written. It's accepted for you know both letters to be uh, alphabets, to be uh, on official documents. Mm -hmm. and, and when did people start saying, I speak and Bosnian. For example, if you apply, if you if you apply for a bid, it it says in in the uh, conditions 
you can apply in Banyaluke, you can apply in any of the three languages, so in, you know, Bosnian, Serbian, and Croatian, in any of the alphabets, uh, in so, either. So Bosnian exists as a language? Uh, maybe I just, uh, mm, I, I spoke my own mind, because yes. as a language school, we do accept it, but not officially, it is not, not official. accepted, no. All oh, right, that's, On the that's government, my government point. level, so uh, I'm, talking from a pragmatic point yeah, yeah, of view, yeah. because we do recognize that it exists. And when did people start talking about Bosnian as a language? Recently, yeah, over the recent years. But during Yugoslavia, it was, uh, the official language was Bosnsk, in Bosnia, no? It was serbo uh, Serbo-Croat. Yeah, serbo and cro 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 serb yeah. right? Which never actually yes. <laughs> existed in no. Croatia. Do any people speak Bosnian? Yes, Muslim. Muslim speak. Yes, but uh, I have a Croat neighbor who comes from uh, from from Varaždin, and she says Mleko. She, even though she has lived all her life in in Banja Luka, and she she married and everything, but she would say Mleko because in in Var in Zagorje they they use in Cro the heart of Croatia. It's uh, such a complex uh, uh, question. I don't think uh, the people are really <laughs> interested in <laughs> that. Yes, 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 I am. As I said, uh, 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 i ekavica, ali se prihvata i latinica, i ekavica, i srpska ekavica, i, i latinica, i ekavica, i bosanski, o, odnosno, odnosno, da, u dokumentima piše da se može, iako službeno nije prizvati, u školama, u školama. Postoje činjenica nešto drugačija situacija, ali kad govorim među Srbije i Hrvatske, vi sad recimo konkretno nekakvu presadu suda iz Rijeke da donesete u Novi Sad, oni vam to neće uvažiti i morate prevesti na srpski jezik. A recimo možda će to u neku Banja Luci uvažiti i odavde dokument i iz Rijeke dokument. Ne znam, da to kažem, ali ovo... Da, da, zvanična, zvanična dokumentacija se prevozi, da, to je apsolutno. All the documents, Mark, he's telling, if you have something from the Eka, a document, and it's brought here, you have to have it translated into Serbian. Okay? Yeah. In order to be valid. Pogotovo što ste vi govorili za nas koji smo rođeni pre raspada bivše države, ovoga... To i nije toliki problem, budući da su to meni oba dva materni jezika ili sva tri kog goda ih ima, to su meni materni jezici. Ali vi danas u Zagrebu bojim se da djeca koja se rođena nakon 91. godine ne daju cirilicu. I vi njemu, on čak i kad gleda filmove, on će to razumijeti, ali on da mu napiše na cirilicu, on ne bi znala pročita. This is the major issue. Kids who were born after the war, they can understand the words, the language is nothing. But the letters, they don't know Cyrillic. We were taught when we were in primary school. I was taught I can read Cyrillic. My kids can't. They have never seen anything like it. So. And finally, can we just ask Marta, what, what, what do you like about being an interpreter? What, what gives you pleasure about working as an interpreter? <laughs> Pa ja sam ovaj jezik, ja sam ovaj posao zavoleo zato što sam shvatio koliko je, koliko je super se baviti jezikom i stalno istražujem, stalno istražujem. Iako sam ja po profesiji tehnički obrazovan, završen tehnički univerzitet, fakultet i meni je ovo posao neka vrsta zadovoljstva, možda zato što sam se uz moju suprugu koja je profesor engleskog jezika i gijenosti, pa sam i igram slučaj, ja sam ja dopao ovog mesta, ja nikad nisam ni mislio ću ovo raditi. Znači, profesor je mislim jezika. His wife is an English teacher, but his education is different. So, can you translate for them? What does he like about being an interpreter? He loves it because he, but this job gives him pleasure because he starts digging into linguistics and everything. He always searches and he's happy that his wife 
kind of pushed him into this job. And uh, she's an English teacher, which I think is a <laughs> wonderful thing. And he really likes digging into language. Right. As, as we all do, don't as we? we yeah? do. And hopefully with our students Very as well, we can yeah, motivate them and inspire them to yes. dig into language. Yeah? Dig into and language. not just into English, but but language in general and how language works. <laughs> zašto sam zavolio ovaj posao, da kažem prva je nisam birao nego sam dopao toga, ja sam ovdje 8 godina bio na visokim funkcijama, bio sam u pokrajinskoj vladi zamjenik ministra, pa sam bio podministar, pa sam bio pomoćnik ministra, došli su izbori, promijenili se vlast i ja sam naprosto žargonske rečnosti glajzao i ja sam, ja sam ili biti na ulici ili bilo što drugo prihvatiti, pa sam ja prihvatio posao prevojetelja, budući da sam takav kakav jesam i znam bolo jezika i tako dalje, imam i neke referencije u tom kontekstu, a drugi posao, drugi razlog u čega sam zavolio ovaj posao, Jeste, zato što radim u prevodilačkoj službi gdje sam svaki dan, osam sati minimum u kontaktu sa Mađarima, Rumunima, Rusinima, Slovacima i svi ono što prevodimo, prevodim na sve te jezike, da kažem, manje više, nekako mi polako ulaze uši i rusinske riječi, i rumunjske, i slovačke, i mađarske, tako da se mi komuniciramo između sebe tako što se u našem govoru ponekad čuje i neka hrvatska riječ, i neka mađarska, i svi razumijemo i neka rusinska... Možete sam samo dati Lani šansu da prevede. To je nekako razumijemo. To je nekako razumijemo, nekako? At the high level, he was a politician yes. in the past, and then he kind of lost his position. That was his first position in this building. And then it was either to do something else or be a part of translating because he's good at what he does. And this was the first element. And the second one is, uh, he's in, he, when he translates, he works here for eight hours every day with other interpreters, and it's a great environment. They all learn each other's yeah, words, they, all, other. they understand each other, and it gives them all such pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes,